Hey there, my friends. Welcome back to my kitchen and welcome to The Recipe Therapist. I'm Celine and I'm I super excited you tuned in today because I'm gonna share with you a healthy recipe. They're my stuffed artichokes. They're not only packed with loads of antioxidants and protein, they're super delicious and better yet, they're gluten and wheat free. You are going to love this recipe. So let's get started. Okay, so let's go over the ingredients of my healthy artichokes. What I have here is four medium-sized artichokes that I've cut and cleaned. What makes these artichokes healthy is the fact that I'm using ground almond meal. But for those of you who don't want the gluten and wheat-free version, all you have to do is swap this out with regular breadcrumbs and it's gonna taste just as delicious. I have basil leaves or bay leaves actually. I have two cloves of fresh garlic, which I've cut in half, some fresh parsley, grated Romano or Parmesan cheese, salt, extra virgin olive oil, black pepper, some granulated garlic, oregano, basil, and for the top of our artichokes, we're gonna put some white wine, some extra virgin olive oil to drizzle on top, and some fresh lemon zest. Okay, so now I'm gonna demonstrate how I cut the artichoke. So I'm gonna take my serrated knife and I'm just gonna cut along the bottom part of the artichoke just to get that stem off. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way through and then I'm gonna do the same on the top, about a quarter inch from the top. And I'm gonna go all the way through again, okay? And then I'm going to take my uh, kitchen shears that I have here and I'm gonna go around each leaf to take that sharp edge off because we don't want to bite into that sharp edge it's uh, it's just hard to bite into and we all want our artichokes to look good so I'm gonna open up the artichoke almost like a flower and get it ready for stuffing and that's what it should look like right before you stuff it it's pretty so now we're ready to make our stuffing so I'm gonna take my almond meal and I'm just gonna pour it into the bowl. I'm gonna use my grated Parmesan cheese. And I like fresh, I mean, I like um, the granulated garlic in this, but you feel free to use fresh, it's, it works just as well. I have my salt, my basil, some black pepper, my dried oregano, fresh parsley, let me get that all out. And last but not least, I'm gonna add my extra virgin, extra virgin olive oil last, and it's what's gonna bind this stuffing together. And pour that right in. And then I'm just gonna take my spoon, and I'm just gonna to start to mix it all together until it's well combined. So now you can see that our stuffing has come together really nicely, and it's bound together well with that extra virgin olive oil that we use. And for those of you who don't know what almond meal is, I just want to tell you that it's ground almonds. It comes in a package sort of like this that says almond meal. But like I said, it's just ground almonds and you can find it at your local grocer or any natural food store. Okay, so now I'm gonna demonstrate how I stuff my artichoke. So I'm gonna take one of my artichokes and I'm just gonna open it up in the center like that and take my hands and I'm gonna start in the center and I'm gonna pat it down with my fingertips, just like that. And then I'm gonna work my way around the outside of the artichoke. I'm gonna just kinda of open up the leaves like that and get that stuffing in there, right? Just like that. It's gonna be so good. And then, like I said, I'm just going to stuff the outside. I'm gonna put a little bit more on the top and pat it down. And that is ready for cooking. Okay, so now you can see what our stuffed artichokes look like right before they're ready to be cooked in our, in our saucepan. So I've taken a medium-sized saucepan, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put one cup of water, so where it comes up to about an inch from the bottom, and I'm gonna put one at a time, my artichokes, in the saucepan, just like that, and they fit perfectly in here. Then I'm gonna add my two cloves of garlic, which I've cut in half, and I'm just gonna pop, plop them right in for that extra flavor. I'm gonna add my bay leaves, just like that. A little extra salt, just for that water. 
not on the artichokes. I put them in the water. Some extra virgin olive oil, just to drizzle on top, just a little extra on top, just like that. And also in the water itself, I don't know, I probably use about a tablespoon or so. And we're going to add our white cooking wine. Again, we're going to add that to the water. About two tablespoons will do good. And last but not least, our lemon zest for the top. So we're just going to zest that lemon just like that, right on top of each artichoke. And that's going to add that extra fragrance, that lemony fragrance and flavor on top. It's going to be just so great. And then we're going to cook this. We're going to bring it to a boil for about, I don't know, 10 minutes. And then we're gonna lower the heat to a simmer and it's gonna cook for about 35 to 45 minutes until those artichokes are really tender. And I am gonna baste in between that sauce on top of those artichokes and it's just gonna be awesome. Okay, so my artichokes have been cooking for about 20 minutes. They came to a boil and I lowered the heat to a simmer. So now I wanna demonstrate how I baste my artichokes. I'm just gonna tilt the pan a little bit. And I have this little ladle up here. I'm just gonna take the juice and I'm gonna go over each artichoke. You can see how that juice has all that nice olive oil in there. It's kind of turned a color a bit. Now, if you feel like you need some more water, if your water is evaporating quicker than you'd like, you can always add a little bit extra water, like I'm gonna do, because I feel like I just need a little tad more. And it has about 20 more minutes to cook. I'm gonna place my cover back on top on that center, and I'm probably gonna baste it one more time before they're done, and they're gonna be just great. Okay, friends, so our artichokes are all done, and I'm gonna take them out of the pot. So, here they are. I'm just gonna take them out, just like that. You can see some of the leaves have fallen off, and I'm gonna put them all on this nice serving platter here. They smell so good, and they, you can see that the leaves look like really tender. And I'm just going to drizzle some of the sauce over them just like that. Wow, they really look good. In fact, I think I'm just gonna pour the sauce over just like that. That's great. Okay, and then I'm gonna top them off with some fresh parsley as a garnish. And last but not least, we're gonna drizzle some fresh Parmigiano Reggiano cheese right on top. And I am gonna serve these up for my husband when he gets home and the rest of the family. And they're just gonna love it. For the full recipe, go down to the description. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell for notifications. And we will see you next time. Take care.